God loves us personally because he's our dad, he's our father. Not just all the human race, but each one of us particularly, even at the point of knowing how many hairs we have on our head. St. Augustine says God loves each of us as if there was only one of us. He loves you as you are. He understands you more than you understand yourself. He knows you more than you know yourself. He made you the way you are, with your qualities and defects. Rich or poor, tall or short, God loves you exactly as you are. God looks after the birds in the air, the lilies of the fields. How much more you, his child, we made in his image and likeness, even if we're sinners. In fact, he loves sinners especially. The greatest sinner in the world is loved by God. God loves you unconditionally because he is love. God loves the good and the bad, men and women, Catholics, Anglicans, Church of Ireland, Buddhists, Muslims, atheists, priests, prostitutes. We are all the work of his hands. God wants us to be happy, joyful and at peace. It's not always easy to learn this. That is why he will often stand back and let us learn from our mistakes. He wants us to live in harmony with others and with ourselves in security, peace and self-dominion. To live in harmony with all creation, being free and not slaves of the things of the world. God took the initiative to love you. We love because he first loved us. All he wants is for you to believe in his love for you, and that you trust his plan more than your own. The first thing he wants is not that we love him, but that we let ourselves be loved by him. It's not that we try to reach him, it is he who wants to reach us. Before we looked for him, he was looking for us. We didn't choose God, God chose us. Love does not consist in us loving God, but in God loving us first. We're not doing God a favor by loving him. It is he who favors us with an eternal love. <laughs>